So we have uh, poorly mounted uh, 20 pounds of weight at the rack and pinion. Uh, and uh, that, so that simulates a load. So we're getting about, uh, I don't know, maybe an inch or two deflection. I was thinking maybe take the uh, duplicate uh, the uh, weighted lever arm to the other side because it's a solenoid, it's a push-pull configuration. As one was going up, the other one would fall down. Maybe that'll help uh, increase the uh, the reciprocation travel. Uh, but uh, you know, once you get the uh, oh, I lighten the weight on the uh, on the lever arm, the weighted rotating lever arm. And, uh, so, you know, little, uh, little variations in the parameters or variables will, uh, definitely change the performance. I noticed there's a lot of, uh, side-to-side, -side, uh, motion. You know, this configuration might be suitable for a, uh, pendulum drive. I really don't know at this point. But anyways, there's lots of options. Thanks for uh, what I wanted to show was, uh... If you look at the orange uh, contact switch, you know, there's periodic flashing, so there's a lot of a lot of arcing going on at the contacts. They're uh, both doing it, more or less. I think this one's cutting out. Uh, it's not making contact or completing the circuit all the time. But uh, on the one side, it's definitely doing it. So, uh, that may be an issue. I don't know how long these, uh, contact switches will last over time. But, uh, just identifying problems at this point. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Cheers. Yeah, if we take, uh, take this, duplicate it on the other side, have one weight falling as the other one's going up, that may eliminate the, uh, a lot of the side-to-side -side motion and uh, convert it into uh, just a reciprocating action. Anyways, uh, plenty of uh, plenty of ideas to come. Uh, so we're we're doing well. Enjoy the day. Cheers.